All right, in this lesson, we'll add kind of some nice uh, curtain glazing across that main floor. So we're just going to double click and open up there. I think what we're going to do is create more of a vestibule area in here. So I'm going to click on here and say create similar. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. Okay, escape, escape, do a TR for a trim. Okay, take this guy and this guy and use my um, mirror tool about this grid line, the center point, click out, escape, escape, TR, trim. And then what I'm going to do is take my surface um, clicking off so I can do this. Otherwise, it'll when I pick on it and move it, it'll move the floor. Maybe adjust this out a little bit. Create a vestibule area. Flip this guy around, nudge, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to delete that guy, I'm going to take that guy, and I'm going to mirror it here so it's exactly on. And yeah, that one's okay over there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is add in some cool glass curtain walls. So I'm going to go to uh, architecture, I'm going to draw a wall, okay, architectural wall but I'm going to go to my type selector and if you scroll to the bottom it has curtain wall exterior glazing and storefront so I'm going to use the storefront and if you go into here edit type you're going to see it says automatically embed so if I go into here and I'm going to say okay it's a new wall top of main and I'm going to go an unconnected height of eight feet so it's not going to be, the top isn't going to be based on a level. It's just going to go from the top of the main floor up to wherever it is at eight feet. So I'm going to zoom in over here. And I'm going to pick across here right inside that wall. And what it's going to do is it's going to place that. And it's going to cut a hole in the wall below. Okay. or the wall within it. Let's have a look at what that did in my 3D view. Okay, not too bad. So uh, let's go to, let's go to, let's do it from the south view, watch. I'm gonna pick on here and here using my control button. And I'm gonna say mirror that about here. Click out. Okay, there's my glazing. And let's go to, back to my main floor, double click, go over here, click on here, say create similar. Again, just go right down the middle of this wall. Boom, boom. It embeds it right inside of there. Isn't that neat? Okay, down to there. Escape. Now, maybe there's an interior one between, you know, two of these rooms. Maybe you, you also want to do the same thing here. Nothing stopping you from saying, oh, well, there's a glass wall between these two rooms. I'm not sure why, but there is. If you want to adjust it, you can click on here, adjust that down. Okay, so now if we go to our 3D view, okay, we can see that we now have that. Now, oh, this door needs to be the right size, so watch. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to use my modify tool, use my match type pick this door and match it to this door. Oh, mm, something didn't work. Oh, I must have picked the wall by mistake. Interesting. <laughs> Cancel out of there. Try it again. It's still in the same command. I need to pick on this door and then pick on this door. Okay. Looking good. Back to my cover sheet. We can start to see that that building is taking shape nicely. Um, so that's our uh, curtain uh, curtain walls embedded in our regular exterior brick walls.